morning everyone. We are going off to do a little hike this morning and this is our normal Carl Sandburg test route we're gonna do. Um, just gonna see how it does. I actually did some driving yesterday. Let me explain this real quick. So if you haven't seen this, this is because the GPS is off. It is not gonna go in full cell driving until the GPS locks on. However, it actually still does go into full cell driving before the GPS actually locks on. Uh, unfortunately, normal autopilot is very good. Um, at least as long as you don't have to make lane changes. Um, but we're gonna wait until it locks on. But yeah, I um, did a drive yesterday. I was off for New Year's Eve. And, um, oh yeah, but speaking of that, Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> I hope uh, everything goes great for 2022. Okay. Um, as usual, I'm not going to count the GPS issue as a disengagement because it's just it's quite unfair that like, like it's going to be every single time, basically. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, I hope, every, I hope everyone has a fantastic 2022. I hope it's even better than 2021. But yeah, yeah, yesterday I had um, did a very similar drive um, to this and I had zero disengagements. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Seems like half the time I uh, record a video, I have zero disengagements. Like, that was great, again. Same as yesterday, same as the previous video. What it's gonna do, it's gonna go over to the right side over here. No way. It had a follow, because it had a follow car, it actually did it correctly. Now, it still doesn't need to go as far to the right as it did. Because it had a follow car, though, it actually did it well. So that was really good. We're gonna see. Let's go ahead and, um, make sure we're good. And we'll just time lapses. Okay, so as you saw, uh, I slowed the speed right down for that, um, for the uh, fire trucks, as you should. I should, uh, in the future, the car does need to recognize that and slow down some, as well as make room. It needs to get kind of over to the, to the right side of the lane to give a little bit of extra room. It was actually fine, especially since there was one on each side of the road, um, but still. Common courtesy, you give as much room to the human as possible. And so, yeah, that's what should have happened, and I think eventually will. Those are the things that uh, will be the difference between level three and level four, I think. Uh, level three is up to the human to make the decision, hey, are we gonna give extra room? Uh, it should still happen with level three. It's just, it's, it's more acceptable at that stage of the self-driving process. Level four, in my opinion, is not acceptable that it should be not given room uh, to um, emergency services. And let's see how it gets off the highway here. <coughs> seem to be getting off the highway a little bit smoother, a little bit better deacceleration. That could be because of this update with the region. I really didn't pay attention too close yesterday. I think I also had a follow car. Uh, as well as there were cars right here at the stoplight. That was very smooth with this update. I think actually like 100% appropriate if I have to say. If it keeps on doing that every time I think I'd be happy. So what it started doing a few updates ago, um, well, actually many updates ago, it's doing this, that when it was still closed beta. And you can see how the speed is slowly increasing right here. And what would happen a few updates ago is someone changed the map data to 30 right here. And it, it then goes back to 45. So what it starts doing is it starts slowing down and then speeds back up again to 45. And that's really annoying. Uh, and I wish I could fix the speed. Uh, the map, there's so many spots like that in this area 
where just speed limit data and map data in general just are not good and it causes a lot of issues for sure. Pretty good um, speed up after it changed again. So from my point of view, it should already be slowing down for this red light. I know it's really far away and it could turn green, but then the speed limit on the other side of that is 35 mile an hour. That's wrong. I'm gonna keep it from doing that. It didn't do that previous update. Previous update, I also had this completely open to myself. The reason why is you have a merge left here. Why get in the merge left to get back over into this lane? The car does it all the, all the time. Let's see if it's gonna slow down for this railroad tracks right here. Not slow down, but does recover a little bit better than previous updates. Hesitated right there with that car coming around the curve. Very smooth into the turn. And very smooth coming out of it. That was a very good turn. Very good set of maneuvers. That's what 10.8 is definitely better on. Is when you have compound maneuvers like that, where it gets over a lane and then goes through the intersection and turns, as a compound maneuver. And it is very smooth on those. Um, better than any previous update, I believe. Good turn here as well. Okay, everyone, that was a zero distance drive. We're not going to this GPS point here um, because our entrance is here. I, I should really go ahead and just save a favorite to this um, particular parking lot. Not that it's going to turn into the parking lot, but you know, so we don't, uh, so it doesn't look like every video. <laughs> I'm just not going to the destination. But yeah, that was good. If this is what Asheville was, I would have been ecstatically happy, but it wasn't. Hendersonville, I think maybe it's because this is where actually we're gonna park right here. Uh, maybe it's because um. In 500 feet, turn left onto Little River Road. I thought I canceled it. Um, it, maybe it's because I drive this route more often. But the thing is, I drive Asheville once a week now for this. Well, I'm sorry, once every two weeks because of this update. Um, and you know, I I, I guess just it's um. Uh, I, get, I don't know, maybe just it's just a lot easier route to go. I, I mean, I'm sure this is it's not particularly difficult. And we're getting more and more often, you're getting this zero disengagements. I, I want to say this is the best this route has ever been, actually, because of the smooth compound maneuvers. Uh, there's only the one mess up with that intersection where it tried to get into the merge lane again. Uh, if it can fix that, it'll be unequivocally the best I've ever done. Uh, but yeah. I appreciate everyone watching. We'll get back to you on the next video. Bye, guys.